friend, fit for an autopsy? Yes, how you doing? Um, fresh from the stage at Bloodstock Festival 2023. Oh yeah. I'm going to ask a silly question, how did it go? How did it go? Yeah. It went well. It, it went did. more than well. <laughs> I was so sick. It's like a bucket list tour for us, for sure. So uh, we've never played Bloodstock before. Yep. Just walking out and the entire crowd already freaking out. I'm like, what the shit? That's so <laughs> sick. Yeah, I was so pumped, man. And just like watching the crowd just come in from the sides and just everyone coming together, I was like, man, nothing feels better than this. And then the sun came out and said, what's up, motherfuckers? Yeah, it was sick. That's good. Is that the warmest festival stage you've been on this no, year? No, 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 <laughs> dude. You ever play Indonesia? Okay. It could be fucking midnight and it's hot as shit still. It's fucking crazy. But that was fun. They gave us pyro and shit. Yeah. So when was the last time you were in the UK? It's been a while. No, no, no. We were just here a couple months ago. We've been we've been here how almost... I, how did I miss that? This is going to be our... Uh, and we're coming back next month with um, The Artist Murder, Whitechapel, Us, and Spike. Fantastic. What, what dates are you playing for that one? Is it just London or are you doing a few other dates? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm the fucking worst. Okay, I just, look, look it up because you're fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah look it up. That yeah. entire tour, the every, ven every week I keep seeing emails, venue upgraded, venue upgraded, venue upgraded. It, these tickets are selling out. It's... You, this tour is going to be sick. You, you have been touring a fair bit recently. You've been busy, Dude, busy, busy. Touring a fair bit is an understatement. Including headliners, I think, as well. Yeah, we've done nothing but headliners and like some support stuff, and it's been unreal. I think uh, at the end of this is going to be the longest we've had home in like the past year and a half, uh, and it's going to be about a month. So we've been home for like I think the longest was like two and a half weeks was the longest we've been home in the past year and a half. So yeah, you want to talk about dedication? <laughs> Don't you fucking ask me, dude. I'm fucking... <laughs> All this is, uh, is on the back of a couple of EPs as well, because your last album was two, three years ago. It's almost two years now. Two years. Like it's, uh, it's almost two years that we put out that album, and it's like, well, we were ju we just kept getting offers. We just kept getting offers and offers, and we're like, all right, cool. But we're at the end of the year, after the Exodus run, yep. we're going to take a little break, maybe write a new album, yep. start sifting through what we're going to do next, and start building the next five years and see what's going on. Because, I mean, you, you've, got, you've got to take these offers because uh, from a band's viewpoint now, the live is, that, that's what the money is, isn't it? That's what your oh, live that's is. Yeah, I mean, you can make shit on streaming. You can have yeah. you can have a million streamers a month. It's like, cool, dude, put it on your fucking fridge. <laughs> that's awesome. It's That doesn't do anything. You're not getting money. So it's like, yeah, they'll put you in a better position with certain people, but yeah. I don't look at that, man. Like, it, it sucks. Like, uh, all these bands, they put in all their hard work to do all these things, and you know, it's a money pit, so the best way to support bands has always been live music. Going live to it, music, just just showing up, you're supporting. Like, yeah. if you don't got enough money for merch, it's fine. You showed up, and you came to the show. Like, yeah. that's cool, man. Like, just support heavy music, and that's how we stay afloat. That's what I mean. We had um, Phil was on stage earlier with Sacred Reich, and that's what he said. If it's not for the crowd, yeah, you don't have the bands. We are the, we are the people that are paying this guy's wages, and he's worth paying, by the way, oh. and the rest of the band. <laughs> Thank you so much. Literally saved my life. Like, it, it's crazy. I was going to come to that. Um, you mentioned that on stage. Yeah. Is it a story you, you mind sharing? What's that? Is it a story you mind sharing? Um, Not really a story, but I guess I'll just say for the past couple of years, I've been in a really like dark time in my brain. You know, I think that we all are. And I think that it's it's okay to like seek help and seek therapy and uh, be able to talk about things because yep. if you don't talk about things, they just build up and then yep. you sink into this darkness until you don't even realize how deep that darkness can go. And yep. you know, sometimes you just need someone to just grab your fucking head and pull it above water so you can breathe and just be like, hey, yep. fucking talk about it. We've spoken to a couple of bands this weekend and it's a very, very similar message, music, can make a huge difference. We look at our musical artists and the people that we follow. Chester Bennington. Ginger it's Wilder. our man. We all look like the happiest people, but you don't know what's going on underneath. Yeah, you know? it's, it's been going on a long, long time as well. Um, Absolutely. And music is an amazing outlet, not just for us as fans, but for you. 100%. Um, so in terms of your, your lyrical content and so forth, do you use that as a bit of an outlet? Is that a, a way of Yeah, I mean, it uh, yeah, especially screaming them on stage. It's just like getting that out every day and like reminding myself like why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so cool. You know, sometimes you get days where you're like a little emotional doing it too. Like no one knows, but like in my mind, I'm just like I'm really feeling these lyrics right now. You yeah. know? Yeah. Well, if, if it helps as well, you listen to the lyrics as a fan and they hit you. And I think that's it's like you're saying it's talking. Yeah. Sometimes you can't talk, but hearing somebody screaming them at you, going, that dude you feels the relate. same way I do. You can relate. Yeah. You're not alone. Yeah. And that's why I, you know, uh, heavy metal has made me not feel alone. 
ever. Yeah. I've always felt like I've had friends. Like when I showed up to my first concert by my fucking self, just like <laughs> meeting up with like one friend, I went home with six other friends that I was hanging out with the next day, skating in a parking lot. And I'm like, yeah. This is so cool. And you know, we weren't being dickheads. Everyone thinks like, oh, you listen to metal as a kid. You're probably a fucking friend like doing drugs and shit. It's like, yeah, we found out about weed, but we're not fucking dumb, you know? Yeah, that's why we're fucking brains more developed right now. That's why I can do a kickflip and you can't even do that shit, dude. I can't do a kickflip. Yeah. <laughs> but I can take a knife off you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of the reasons for coming to events like this. Yeah. Um, you, you look around and Bloodstock for us, it's the one we come to every year. We cover so many other events and there's so many to cover. Oh, so yeah. it's wonderful to see the metal has just grown so much. But every week you see past the camera, you look at all these fucking amazing people out here and you can walk up to any one of them and just start, start talking to them. 100%. You can literally walk up to anybody here and have a conversation. No one's going to be like, you're fucking weird. Because yeah, you know what's weird? Fucking Bobby shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that's not fucking weird. That that film is apparently very good. I have not seen it yet. Likewise, I want to take my daughter's season. But I will. I will. 100%. Yeah. I mean, you got some great actors in there, too. It's amazing. And it's really pissing off the conservatives. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's got to be good. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to watch Barbie because I want to watch Barbie. Yeah, this is true. And it's got Holly Quinn in it. Yeah, dude. I used to cut all my sister's hairs Barbies all the time. I just cut. I was a barber when I was a kid, I guess. What the hell is that thing? Sorry. That thing. Oh, yeah. The big, that's, big, that's, big, a, that's a mascot for Bloodstock there. Yeah, the Bloodstock mascot just, like, freaked me out for a second. I had no idea what that was. That's what mascots do. They never freak you out. That's so cool. I love it. That, that, that's, that, that fear, that angst, that's going to go to your next song. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> we're going to talk about fucking Bloodstock and how that BOA asshole scared the shit out of me, dude. He's not an asshole. He's probably a really nice person. I mean, if that yeah. doesn't turn up at least on the V side, I'm going to be so yeah. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I know you got a, a ton of other stuff to do. Oh, that's okay. He's coming out. I won't take up too much of your time. A brilliant set. I'm Thank really you. looking forward to seeing you. I'm going to check the dates out. Yeah, yeah. And I won't miss this tour. I'm sorry about the last one. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and we'll keep an eye out for any forthcoming news of album number whatever the hell it is now. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say five, but I'm probably wrong. Maybe six. Six. Because I, I don't know if we count splits. We did two splits. The two recent ones have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe like six. So this might be technically seven. Whatever. It'll be good. There's some music that we got, and there might be some new stuff coming out soon. So I'm pumped. Awesome. So stream all the shit, but more importantly, if you stream it and you like it, buy a ticket, go and see these guys. Live they, shows. They are fucking good. Thank you so much. Impartial. They're awesome. You're the best. Thank you. Joe, thank you so much. Very nice meeting you. Thank you.